Hey, what's up guys? Molten Marlin here back with another Borderlands 3 video and today we're going to be doing a loot guide. And that loot guide is going to be on the Chupacabra that is on the Athena's planet. Now I've heard if you want to get legendaries you have to go into offline mode but for this video I decided to stay online and test and see what legendaries could drop if any could drop. I farmed the Chupacabra for about an hour and I was on Mayhem 1 and I did not get any legendaries. I think I only got like two purples. So I would say the Chupacabra is probably not the best thing to farm. But if you want to farm it, go ahead and do it. If you're just looking for legendaries, I would not recommend this at all because there's other things like the Grave Ward that drop legendaries almost every single run and this thing barely drops anything. But if you want the special legendary the Chupacabra drops called the uh, Chupacabra's Organs, then you can farm this as much as you want on Mayhem 4 would probably be your best bet. So for the conclusion of the video, I would not recommend this at all. Yes, it's very convenient to have to spawn right next to him and all you have to do is run probably like 10 seconds to his little cave, but it's not worth it every single time if he's not going to drop any legendaries. However, if you do decide that you want to farm this, he's actually a very easy kill, but I'm not sure about the legendary drop rate on him, especially in the mayhem modes, because they nerfed the hell out of him. He does not drop legendaries almost at all anymore, so just good luck with that. Well, I think that's going to wrap up this video today. I hope you guys did enjoy it. If you have any suggestions for any other bosses, please let me know, and I hope you have a good day. Please like and subscribe. Peace out, guys.